Hi everyone, it's Dash of Dave here again and I'm back for another crafty video. So this time, as promised, we're going to make Margot a photograph album. So I've kind of selected what I wanted to make it um, like. I haven't made one already because I wanted to kind of sit and make it with you. Um, and so this is going to be the cover, these are going to be the internal pages and this is basically just going to be the cover strengthener because this is paper and this is, and this is cardboard. So. Uh, I thought you might like to see some of the photos we're going to put in here. So, um, I will introduce you to a few people, a few notable people. So, this is um, this is Margot's mum, um, who is Gerline, um, and this is Marcus, who is her father, um, and that's their wedding photo. Um, so as you can see, they're a very happy couple together, and then they've also got a very special one um, because they've got a colour one. Because you know, you, let's face it, you didn't get many colour photos, um, especially back in the well late fifties. You know, whenever this was late fifties, no, it wouldn't be late fifties, would it? It'd be late forties, maybe late thirties. I don't know. Anyway, I haven't I haven't got covered that that part of the backstory yet. Um, so this is the two photos. So. Very precious to her, so she wants to keep hold of those. Um, there's a history of um, mili military representation in her family because this is her um, auntie and her um, uncle on her mum's side. Um, then these are some of her friends. So um, these are um, people that she um, that she works with. So. Because she works in such a big company, these are the friend, her work friends. So that's them on a a, a day out. Um, this is her her and her siblings. Um, so this is Perry and this is Nor. Okay, and then we've got um some of her social friends. So um, a couple of different groups of her friends that she's got. So um, so there we go. So there's some of the photos that we'll we'll put in the photo album for now um, and we can build on them so I think you can agree she comes from very handsome stock so um, so yes so we're gonna make um, a photo album for her so I was thinking um, I haven't decided but I was thinking I'd probably make it um, the accordion spine style um, that I've made um, before um, and I thought I would give that a go and see what that looks like as a photograph album. So, like I say, this is not a tutorial because I'm not telling you how I'm going to make it with you. So, I'm just going to rustle things for a moment. So, <coughs> and the reason I'm not going to tell you how is because my brain still isn't quite working. Oh, one of the things I need to know is how big do we need this to be? So, if we need. So if we have the spine to be, we want it to be smaller than the cover, the spine, don't we? So if we have the spine to be, I don't know, whatever that is, three and a half, two and a half, no, two and three quarters, two, three, maybe, three. <laughs> any, <coughs> any advance on two or three? Let's go for two and three quarters. Um... Let me just think. Is that going to be yeah, well? You know, let's find. Let's face it. We'll find out together, won't we? So, go for two and three quarters. I might do two of these, so that I can fill them together. Um, what am I doing? They are not the covers. That's not the cover spine. That this. Sorry, that's the cover, not the spine. This is the spine. Get a grip, Dave. So. Try again. This is the spine. See, brain's not completely working. Still not firing on all cylinders. Um, extreme exhaustion I've had with this, whatever it is that I've had. Um, so remember, we're going to fold this in the same way as we did before. Or maybe I should have taken the, um, the sticker off it before I cut it. But hey, we'll do it now. Um, so I'll half a sticker here and half a sticker there. Here a sticker, there a sticker, everywhere a sticker, sticker. Oh, McDonald. <laughs> shh, shh, Dave. Right, so I'm going to go in half. 
can put a line in there. A line in there. No, just a line, Dave. Arr. No, just a line. No lines. And then that side in half. And put a line in there. A line. A line. Not a lion. I'll stop saying lion, Dave. A line in there. I'll do the same on that side. Again, no lions this time, Dave. And then fold that back again. I'm not sure whether this is maybe a little bit thick, this card, but hey. I don't mind it looking a little bit shabby because it's been around a while. You know, Margot's loved it, so... built-in grunge so and then we're going to fold that over onto itself hopefully lining it up so yeah like during the week i there's n uh, i'm good good job i'm feeling better because if, if i'd felt like i had during the week i would not have been making any videos this weekend at all i've spent the whole week sat downstairs or lying down upstairs and just not wanting to do anything not wanting to eat not wanting to watch anything not wanting to listen to anything not uh, just not feeling at all well so <clears throat> that's going to be the cover and then we're going to have one Two, three. We need an yeah. We definitely need another one of them. Otherwise, we're going to end up with like three and a few a few pages maybe. Just now, I picked these colours because I thought they went nicely with the the cover. And I'd love to say it was. I spent, you know, it was painstakingly looking for the right colours, etc. Uh, no, I, I, literally, I, I saw the cover. I saw what I wanted for the cover. I was like, oh, that's what I want. Um, and um, then I was looking through my tub of, which is just off to my left-hand side, of papers. And there was one that I just thought, oh, I love that colour. And I, I put it down next to the paper. And I thought, hang on, that goes really well. So... <laughs> So there was no pain or staking involved. Pain staking. That's weird, weird term, pain staking. I'm sure anybody being staked, it's, it's painful. So It's making my brain think now. Why is it called pain staking? I need to go off and research that and find all of that out. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. That's where the shut up Dave thing comes from, by the way. The shut up Dave thing is I say say it to myself all the time because my brain just wants to just do things off on its own tangent and I have to tell it to shut up every now and, ag every now and again. So, so I, uh, it's, it's my way of getting my brain back into line. So if we stick those two together like that it's going to be that's going to be the wrong way around but we can cut that one off do we want to do yeah let's do that shall we shall we do that shall we i don't know shall we i don't know i don't even know what i'm doing so i don't know let's get a pair of scissors dave <coughs> let's cut that off Next to those dogs are all going for it now. Uh, so if you can hear barking in the background, it's not Worcester with a high-pitched voice. Um, it's next door's little dog. They've got little dogs, so they've got like um, what are they? What are those little dogs called? Um, Jack Russell. That's what they've got. Is Jack Russell? They've got Jack Russells. So. Stick those bits to 
together. There we go. It's going to be a little, a little album, but never mind. Yeah, cool. So that's that. So I now need to decide what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use these sheets of paper as the, the pages because they're exactly the same color. Well, it might be slightly slight shade difference but they're supposed to be the same color because they're both from the same range and we're going to make some pages that will then sit on there with the slot in you know like we made before so um i'm just thinking is that going to be too big now no 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 we're going to go for this uh so um Page wise, maybe that way, fold it over, fold me over, fold me down and do it again. Oh, well, I'm sure there's a, I'm sure there's a song in that, um, but I'm <laughs> not going to go there in case it's a smutty song. Um, so, um, now my brain's going, is it a smutty song? I don't know. Is it smutty? Oh, shh, Dave, just chush. So, I'm thinking. We don't want the pages to be too much longer. But I want to equally get a couple of pages, a couple of sheets of them out. So I think I'm going to go for about there, which is not an accurate measurement at all. But accurate measurements are not something I'm able to achieve at the moment. So maybe let's see if I can make it an, an accurate measurement. So put it there. Oh, let's make it three and a half. And then that is an accurate measurement, isn't it? Is that three and a half? Yeah. Three and a half. Oh, you knew that was going to happen, Dave. Of that, you managed to cut one and a half sheets of paper. So. Uh, hopefully that's the same line it is let's do this one first and then we'll come back to that one we might have to use some other colors i don't think i've got another sheet of this so and then oh that's nice that's not too much waste that's what we like and we'll do the same for this so three and a half i just think it's got that kind of a I always, you know, thought so. Like a lot of um, old photograph albums had like a very dark green. I mean, like this is not very dark green, but like it had a very dark green background. And I always wondered why. But I think, I think black and white pictures stand out well against like a dreamy colour. I think that might be the reason why. So, how many pages we've got? One, two, three, four, five. Six and how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> oh gosh, you couldn't have worked that out any better if you tried, Dave. Um, so, <laughs> so these are going to go in here. <clears throat> so in there. So we need to then work out A, we need the middle. It's always a good start. Although you've just done it in inches, so why would the middle be a centimetre? Although it's not right off, not not far off nine. Um, let's do it this way. So it's three and a half. So half of three and a half is one and three quarters, I believe. One and three quarters it is, I think. I'm almost sure it is. Answers on a postcard. It'll be too late by the time it gets to me, but hey. I don't know why I was going to bring that up to my nose. So, I hope. I wonder if I can do this. It's going to be terrible cheating, isn't it? But if I do one and a half on this side, sorry, one and three quarters on this side, not one and a half, Dave. <coughs> One and three quarters, do do do. One and three quarters. 
du du du. There's a song in everything, and everything in a song. And then, if I just hold them together, sort of like that, I can just do that. I know it's cheating, isn't it? But hey, I'm only cheating myself. There we go. Cool. So then we need it to be, if it's three, it needs to be one and a half out from each side. Oh, actually, there we go. There. It's not a lot of space at the e at the edges. Oh, I might have to cut this down. I'm not going to be able to cut that down, Dave. Could I cut it down to three? What? I can't remember what it is. What is it? It's one and three quarters. Oh, it would be oh two and three quarters. Could I cut it down to two and a half? I don't know. Is it going to look really wonky if I try and cut half an inch off? Oh, I'm going to try. I might might make a an ear of pig from this, but hey, I don't know why I'm putting that arm out because it's not long enough to need it. But so let's line those edges up first before I do any cutting. I'll do that there, and then we're going to cut half an inch, or at least endeavour to cut half an inch off. In theory, that went well, but <laughs> is, that, is that half an inch? That's a quarter of an inch, Dave. That's why it went. In theory, it went well. Oh no, it isn't. That's this what I needed to cut off. Is a quarter of an inch. Good job I didn't cut half half an inch off, isn't it? So. <laughs> Oh dear, this is not <laughs> my working out skill is not great at the moment. Attention to detail, any anything, bas anything basically is not going very well. Oh come on, come on, just behave now. You're just being a jerk now, aren't you? I know what I'm going to have to eat today, which is good. Uh, like, unless somebody basically plonks something in front of me the last few days, I haven't eaten anything. So, um, you know, and I, I usually like, you know, some nice treats and sweetie things and that sort of thing. And I just cannot be, I haven't been able to be bothered at all the last few days. So, he, and like, that's what Brian said. He said, oh, "You can tell you're poorly. You're not. <laughs> you're not like sweets and chocolate and all of that." So. So that's what we're going to have now. So it's, that should be. Oh, that's better. I feel a bit happier with that kind of margin of error on the on the edges. So I can't remember what this is now. Two and a half, isn't it? Two and a half. Yeah. So so now we need to go two and a half. Stick that in the middle. And we need to go. Two and a half. Uh, and again, I wonder if I can do if I can do it the cheats way. Let's do it actually on the fold, Dave. That would be more useful. To, have I done the other one on the fold? Yeah, I did. I just can't see where that is. That's what you get for cheating, Dave. Uh, I'll put the two and a half, the halfway mark there. And then go. That's that bit there, and that's that bit there. That's not the middle, though, is it, Dave? How is that not the middle? What's half of two and a half? What? Oh, that's why, Dave, you idiot. That's why. One and a quarter, Dave. One. No. What? One and a quarter is half of two and a half, Dave. One and a quarter. Get your act together, Dave. Get your act together now. Oh, 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, just being honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, two and a half. Half of two and a half is one and a quarter. So it needs to be one and a quarter from the... From that. So... There, one and a quarter. So that's got to go to there. And that's got to go to there. And that should be the same. Yeah, that's the same. That one is going to have to be now. Um... So I'm really sorry if I'm, I'm becoming annoying, but like, hey, you tried living with me for the last week. I've really been not great at doing anything. I mean, if good job you hadn't lived with me because the last week, like I say, unless somebody's made me forcibly made me eat something, it, nothing was happening. So you'd have starved to death. I don't forget the middle. I don't need the middle anymore. I only need the edges. So, uh, and where's the other one? Uh, oh, the dogs are going out. Next door's dogs are going out. You can hear them straining on their leads. <laughs> Style. Right. Will it be a mistake to try and do a few of these together? Well, no, we might look at the moment, yes. But hey, we're going to do it anyway. I just need a blade now. So I want to go a little bit past that line. Down, 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 down. And a little bit past there. Do that again. up. I said line it up and don't move it though this time Dave. Do that. A little bit past that one. Do a little bit past there. And then line those two up. Alright, yep, yeah, that's fine. So And if you want to know how to make a, a much better accordion version, then uh, go and check out my video, which I hopefully will remember to link in the description. But like, no, my look at the moment, it might not have happened either. So, <coughs> so there we go. So they are my little hells, and we now hells. It's a hell, and we now need some uh, something to go in, slot in little lock. Oh, just a minute, 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 minute. Is that going to be enough? Oh, no, probably not. Is there going to be enough? I don't know, and I don't think so. No, so. Um, do I have another one? Do da, do da. No, I play in well, don't do da, do da day. Oh, well, oh, I'm sure I've got a file folder. Yes, I've got a file folder. Is that what I want? No, let's use this. You know, I'll cut it anyway, so we need it to be how wide? How wide is this? How deep is your love? We need it to be about one and a quarter inches by by whatever this is or maybe just short of this by three and a quarter inches so three and a quarter inches by one and a quarter inches so uh, let's make this one and a quarter inches first there ish I love that word ish it's it covers you for so many things. I'll be there at about four-ish, which means that, like it could be anything up to six. Um, and then it said, what did I say? Three and a quarter the other way. 
No, it like really frustrates me when people say, oh, I'll be there about four-ish and then don't turn up until six. I'm like, it's four-ish? Well, yeah, it was four-ish. Yeah, but that's nowhere near four. You might as well have said six-ish. You're going to turn up at six, but then I'd say six. Yeah, okay. So you can't win with some people. But it works for everything else, so I, I like it for all the other stuff. All the other bits in between. You know, I'm really enjoying being able to talk. Because I wasn't I wasn't happy I wasn't a happy chappy last week. I felt I felt mortal last week, so because obviously I'm immortal. <laughs> right, now we uh, now we're getting some well i think we're getting somewhere so flip it over so it's going to go on there it's going to go through there and hopefully it will go through there try not to rest on the blade dave move that out of the way because that's a recipe for disaster so that's going to go through there and then we're going to use that we're going to make it Make this look a bit tidier first. Move some of this out of the way. Get the wood for the trees. Let me just have a sip of water while I'm doing that. Mm. So, I think I threw that away, which is. I'm sure I had. What? Did I just throw that away? No, I better not have done. Anyway. Um. I'm missing one, aren't I? I am. Oh well. I thought I was there. That's what you get for tidying up, Dave. And that's going to go through there. That's going to lock that page in. Yeah. Yeah, that's alright. Okay, so then we're going to have another page. It'd be silly to have one page. It wouldn't be a very good album if it only had one page. I believe that's what album means, is a collection of things. Sort of I think that's the reason why it's called an album for a record as well, because well, I mean like not that we have records anymore, but like because it was a collection of things. Don't quote me. I clearly know nothing about what I'm talking about. So, if it's not, I'm like you know. The other thing is, I, I like I I don't know whether anybody knows this, but I play Pokemon. I do Pokemon Go. Um, I've kind of recently got into that. I've walked several hundred miles because of it, though, which has always been which is good for me. So, um, but. I couldn't even be bothered to play that, so that's how bad it is. So, um, so I am a Pokemon Go geek. Okay. And I resisted temptation. I literally only started playing in March, I believe, this year. Um, I resisted. I always thought that, that the people that played it were bonkers um but then i realized i was bonkers too and started playing it so <laughs> can't beat them join them what i like about these particular style journaly type things albums etc is that open spine thing it really makes it feel very rustic and very utilitarian and i think margot would have definitely approved of this she's like you know she likes a functional Right, so functional things. So let's get that in there. <coughs> and wiggle it in. There we go. And then put that through there to lo lock it in. There we go. That's fine. So you could, we could have a different sheet in the middle 
between those. Oh, I know what I th we could have. Hang on, be back in a second. Hold that thought. I have to remember to put my mic back on, so I just had to say to myself, remember to put your mic back on. How about one of these? You know, like they have that kind of slippy cover sometimes. So maybe this. So these are old tracing paper things from work. Um, I think they, they used to put like planned drawings on them, but we don't use them anymore because everything's digitized. We use CAD drawings these days, so. Um, how big, how big, how deep is your love, how deep is your page? So we've got, oh, Dave, you're not, not very good at these things. Four and a quarter, no, four and a, an eighth. Is that an eighth? One, two, three, four, yeah, four and an eighth by three and a half. Um, so actually I want it to be smaller, don't I? So, can I have those kind of glassine sheets between them on old photograph things? So I'm just going to cut the, this end off first. Probably cutting way too many pages than I need. Yeah, from, let's, go for, let's go for those for now. I'm going to cut all of these edges off. Let's get rid of that line. Um, I'm kind of trying to get the paper straight, but not not worrying too much about it. So I'm just cutting the lines off at the moment, and then done all that. Get rid of that. All of those stratty bits. Okay, so then we've got what did we say? <laughs> Three and a half by four and an eighth, didn't I? Yeah. So I think if I go four by Uh, three and three eighths, because I like to put myself into pressure. <coughs> four by three and three eighths. Let's do three and three eighths first. Three and so that's three. That's the three line. So that's one, two. Um, no, that's quarters, Dave. That's one, two. There, I think, is three and three eighths. Three and three eighths. Let's do another one of them. Three and three eighths. But is that the same? I don't know. No, I can't remember. Three and three eighths. Are they the same size now? Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> it's always a challenge. <coughs> and then we're going to go four. Oh, it's come off. So how many pages now do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I've got six pages now. Hopefully that's going to be enough. I'm, what I was thinking is, if I have this in between, stuck to the page, like that, or like that, like that, I think. I want it like that. Yeah, I, I'm not sure which side to put it on. That's the thing. Do I put it on that side? Or do I put it on that side? That's not, not really that much of a difference, Dave. I'm going to put it on this side, I think. 
No, I'm going to put it on there. <laughs> you just talk amongst yourselves while I have a, a, an argument with myself here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that that's kind of in the middle first. Ish, middle-ish, middle-ish. Yep, and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. She can always then, then she's got somewhere to like tuck other things into. I'm going to put that on there. It kind of sits nicely in between those two bits, like that. And then she's got a pocket there if she needs it. She might want to put her negatives in there. Obviously, they can't have one there, but they can have one here. And again, that can go in there. Put that there. So it's nice that these, this style of um, spine is so versatile. I like is the versatility. I like something that you know. Once you found a way to do it, you can do it in multiple different ways for multiple different applications, etc. So it's good when you do that, and it's something you know you can make. You know, it's not something you have to rack your brains, how do I do that? And I can't remember how to thread that. And, you know, when you're trying to do the sewing techniques and like, oh, which bit do I go in through first or come out? Do I, do I start in the middle? Do I start at the ends? This you can just kind of make. On a wing and a prayer. Yeah, I'm just center that in that on that page and glue it down flip it over go to the next one nice and quick and easy easy peasy lemon squeezy a bit like my brain at the moment very easy it's very lemon squeezy as well so. got a lot of guitar haven't I you know like I say I've had a little bit of a cough but not not a horrendous cough. Oh, and by the way, I did test, and I tested negative for COVID, so it wasn't that. Um, but I don't know what it is, what, what it was, but ugh, I, I don't want it again, and I really don't recommend it. So, um, I mean, like there is a there is a a, a theory that I might have had strep A. As my symptoms are kind of in line with that. Um, but like my doctor, well, you can't you can't get an appointment with my doctor unless you you know God. So, so I've only you know you can only speak to them on the phone, and then they have a moan at me about like, well, how am I supposed to make a, a a diagnosis if I can't see you. Well, it's not me that couldn't get an appointment to see you. You, you're the guard. You have to call the guards off. So the reception team there are terrible. Um, I won't mention which surgery it is. So if I'm going to go for a bigger, slightly bigger album cover, so I'm going to go for. Four three and three quarters by four and four and three eighths three and three quarters by four and three eighths three and oh, I'm never gonna remember that my three and three quarters three and three quarters another one obviously front and the back by four and four eighths. I'll put those together. 
four, no, four and three eighths, Dave. One, two, three. Move those together. That should be big enough now. Let's just check. Is it big enough? It's big enough and it's bigger than, yep, cool. That's great. It's got a nice overhang to it. That's great. So then what we want to do is we want to cover it in this. So I think I'm going to I'll try and use up the, the torn bit. Go on then, Dave. Give it a go. See if I can just tear this bit off. Give it a start. Oh, Dave, why don't you why don't you just tear that, Dave? Oh, Dave. Oh, Dave. Doing this. Tearing towards yourself is so much easier than trying to tear away from yourself. Although I am a bit of a tear away at times, so I was going to try and neaten it up by making it worse, but never mind. Hey. So then, let's get rid of these bits. And those bits. Stick those in there. Those in there as well. They're nice pieces of cardboard I can use in other, for other things. Yes, my name is Russell. Before anybody asks, do I want it to kind of fold in, or do I want to just do I want to go easy? Or do I want to make it hard for myself? I kind of feel like I want to make it hard for myself. I know. Don't ask me why. Let's tear it down to a piece that's a bit more workable. So Margot, Margot and her family will be proud of me for being so frugal. So I'm going to cut this down to, I don't know, Whatever that is, I'm going to go to about here, and then I'm going to go to about there. I'm going to do two, obviously, of that size. So, well, I've just put a line on there, and I don't, oh, it's there. <laughs> just put a line on it, and I can't find a line. But I found it. It's all right. Panic over. I didn't even measure what that was. So I've got kind of a fighting chance of giving it a, oh, it's a little bit over four and three quarters. So let's go for, let's go for four and three quarters. Seems I'm going to take a very slither, a very slim slither of the, oops, that wouldn't be any good if it was a fat slither though. It wouldn't be a slither then, would it? Four and three quarters. Where are we there? An overweight snake, that's what they do. They're fat slithers. Um, <coughs> like I say, I think I'm funny. And that's always been the, the issue. Because I think I am. Nobody else does. So, um, where's that other line? Oh, where's the, where is that other line? Ah. Let's try that again then, Dave. These pieces of paper aren't the same size. Oh, no! Got barcord on that bit. Don't want barcord on it. Don't want barcord. No. Let's turn it round. Let's see. Right. Where's that? Where's that line. So let's put that line on this piece of paper. And turn that piece of paper round and use that piece of paper to be the bit that cuts off. And hopefully, hopefully that cuts the barcode off. So because it's wrapping paper barcode printed on it. How dare they? Do they not know that we, us crafters use everything? Wrapping paper and all sorts of things. It did cut the barcode off. Hurrah! So, I'm thinking I'm going to stick that on there. 
like that and then I'm going to cut off like them corners and like fold it all in and it's going to be hunky dory and you know what it's not going to work out like that but hey we'll give it a go so I'd like something that wasn't too warpy warpy that's not uh that's not a resolve is uh, not a resolve that's not uh, even a word dave oh, there's a word but it's not the, the word i'm looking for these are not the words I'm looking for. shut up dave it's not going to be a an answer <sighs> which way up do i want them i want them both to be the same shut up dave like honestly so annoying aren't i like talking just constantly talking about nothing Right, so, challenge is on, folks, because, like, this is not going to last forever. My Xyron sticky thing cannot find it for the life of, of me in the UK. Well, under 70, pa 70 pounds. So, if anybody can find me a, it at a reasonable price on, and purchase it, for, well, like, and we'll talk about it, and then... If, if we can arrange it, put that you purchase it, and then I pay for you sh pay for it. Obviously, not just <laughs> not just for the shipping, but for it and the shipping. Um, because I know I'm, I think they've been discontinued, certainly in the UK, and I don't know whether that's happened all over the world. But if somebody can tell me whether they can buy them, it's a it's um, a thingy, what's it What's it called? A Creative Station, and it's the larger version. Creative Station, uh, I don't know. Just the larger version of the Creative Station. Uh, it kind of does like a US letter A4 sort of size, width-wise. Um, but yeah, I, lo I just love that stuff. And the reason why I don't use it so much is because I really scared that I'm going to run out of it one day and I'm just not going to have any I really ha hope they haven't discontinued it because that would be terrible for the environment to discontinue something like this and then have people just with bits of plastic that they can't use like machinery things that they can't use so and I know there was a whole thing about like oh they're, they're not really any good just like you know the can't get the sticky off it and like well that's because people didn't do it right so this is what you need to do is you need to rub it down make sure the sticky makes a good bond and then you know break the edge of it with a, a pen and then when you peel this bit off it shouldn't leave a sticky overhang although if you use the right side of it it'll peel off much better there we go and it's the permanent adhesive i want not because i can I found some in a charity shop that was the repositionable, which I did buy the cartridge, but it's not the repositionable that I want. And I like it because it's dry, sticky. And I know you can use double-sided sticky tape and all of that, but I just like this, so I'm just telling you that I like it. Oh, you might have noticed as well that my um, latest set of digitals are out now. Another seven of the, them were released. I released them on Saturday. It's um, I'm recording this on Sunday, um, but you know whenever you see this, so uh, there's a whole other um, selection in my Etsy store, um, and I will tell you what they're called. But you just have to bear with me because I have to I have to look it up because well because because I do. Um, so we've got conceptual, which is um, kind of a junk journaly pages, uh, um, all designed by me. And um, we've got Dubri, we've got Poppy Clunker, Gubbins, and Thingamajig, all very similar sort of like vein. So the conceptual are lots and lots of multiple layers all overlaid to give you that kind of junk journaly feel um like journaling feel uh collaged you know that sort of layered feel and then Dubri, poppy clunker gubbins and thingamajig um are all more like ledgery with flowers um 
uh, by the way, Dewberry, Poppy Clonker, Gubbins, and Thingamajig all mean, you know, a thing. They often sometimes refer to the you know, remote remote control when you're asking somebody, can you pass me the whatever it's called? And like, you know, whatchamacallit, it basically means whatchamacallit. Um, they're common words in the UK that we use for um, those. Pass me the thingamajig. You know, the gubbins, the the poppy clonker, the, uh, the doobry, what the, the, you know, the thing, the doobry, that. And then there's voda and... Um, tempera um, and they are both uh, like watercolour flowers um, on you know on plain background so they're the, they're the kits anyway I just thought I'd let you know about those so, where's it on there so I'm just going to stick these on and hopefully we can make, make this a nice cover then so put this down a little bit close to that edge never mind so now what I need to do is I need to cut this bit off now you don't want to get too close to the edge in fact I'm not even going to do it properly I'm going to just do it like this because we're going to go for you know I know that Margot would approve she doesn't mind my thing's not being perfect. She just likes you to to use all of it. Okay, so <clears throat> what shall I use? I might use this stick glue for it. I might use it on put some of that in the background and do that. Do that and then flip that over. straight edge there we, there we go oh, it's all right it doesn't exactly marry up but never mind it's all right it's all right all right you know it's gonna be all right yeah so <laughs> no fear from the pet shop boys and me ever taking over their <laughs> their songs um, cause I can't sing. So there we go. So I think that's going to be the bit where it sticks to the spine, and then uh, we'll do the same again. So let's just do that. That one. That one. That one, and that one. And again, just stick these down. Use the edge of it to make it a nice sharp edge. Turn that round. Just turn me stick up. I beg your pardon. <laughs> turn me stick up, that's what I said. You heard. So, shush, Dave. Shush. Oh, shush. Stop it. Oh, stop it. I think this is going to be the back cover because this isn't quite as that seems like it was almost perfect that one too good to be true and then fold that over there we go cool so let's get rid of that our little bin there move them out of the way get rid of these little bits <coughs> Yeah, so that's going to be the back cover and this is going to be the front and we're going to put that on there like that oh that's beautiful <gasps> so very excited by that can you tell right i'm going to use this to stick the cover down with You know, you can have pretty things, but they can't be overly 
overly decorative. So I want to kind of get that in the middle of that. With a similar sort of overhang top and bottom, but if it doesn't go quite right, I'm not going to panic about it. Just try and get that done while the glue's still wet. That'll do. Yep, that'll do. And then that one on there. So, again, just a bit of glue on it. on just try and align those so that they're both in a similar sort of place okay, does that kind of sit nicely on there mm, sort of maybe twist it a little bit there we go oh that's all right that's not too bad well oh, right well, there's me pin oh, there back in there for now so I'm not going to need it to stick the um, the pictures in that's the wrong way up now it's that way up because we decided that that's the how the leaf is going to be so we can put some of these um, lovely photos in so we won't have anything right at the very front we might have a kind of dedication page at the front but we're going to put that really lovely photo of her parents in there and then she's got somewhere to write in there um, uh, we're just going to stick it in I was going to say use some photo corners but I really don't know where they are so um, and I know you can make them but well you, you can make them I can't <laughs> not with my head at the moment so I'm just going to stick it in I'm going to put it here like that and she can write a little who it is there we can have that one a bit further on actually we might have that so she can keep that in her nice Margot's file um, put that in there some of her friends. Um, let's have some more friends in this one. I'll get there. And I know I can use the backs of it, but like most people use one side of a, an album till it's completely full and then they flip it over and they, they work back through it. So this is her other friends. Uh, oh, we'll have our siblings in, shall we? Let's, should we trim that down? the edges off that so it looks a bit more authentic Let me cut that bit off as well that can go in there that can be maybe like that sorry it's just going to be a pain in the bottom isn't it it's not going to peel off now now I've cut the edge off it that's for some reason I don't know what it is it doesn't like having the edges cut off because you can't then peel it uh, do I want it up there or down there no uh, let's go down there and then flip it over oh we're going to put that in her her file that she keeps at work because then you know They're the people that keep her resilient and headstrong and determined to succeed. Always helps if you come from a loving background, doesn't it? So there we go, and we'll put her oh, in apart a little bit, but never mind. We'll put her um, her auntie and uncle. In there, and as I find more photos, we can put some more in. So let's go for this side on this one. There we go. So that's her little photograph album. 
So that's Margot's photograph album. Um, obviously we can add more to that at some other point, but we're kind of done for that. So that can go in her file, um, which is here. So I'm gonna pop that just so she's got a little memory of her parents in there. Well, you know, they're still alive, so she shouldn't need a memory or of them, but you know, when you're proud of your parents, you like to go and carry them around. We're always getting photos out, aren't we, of our family and friends and dogs and cats and things. So there we go. So that's her little photograph album. Might give it a bit of a, just a bit of a distress. Not, I don't want to go too heavy on it, but maybe some vintage photo, because it being a photograph album. Might go for a little bit of a, a bit of colour around the edge. It's got to look a bit loved, doesn't it, at the end of the day. A bit of colour on the spine as well. Just bring in that, some of that colour in from the edges. Do the same on the back. I always think the back is always going to be more discoloured because it gets wiped across tables and things. So I, I don't know whether that's logical or not, but there you go. And that's it. So there we go. That's Argo's photograph album. So I hope you enjoyed that. So we'll fill that up with some more photos as we go along. Um, and next thing we're going to make is we're going to make her an HR file for her um, for her company to hold on her. So there we go. That's it. So little nice little photograph album. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget, my name is Dash of Dave, and I love you all without exception. Um, well, until you give me a reason not to, anyway. So don't give me a reason not to, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks very much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Lots of kisses from me, lots of hugs, mwah, a kiss from Margot, and I'll see you soon. Take care, folks. See you soon. Bye. Bye.